evening and welcome to Law Talk, the show that brings you the law, the Constitution, and the events of the day to you. And tonight, we're going to have three more exciting topics. So, Mark, tell us what our topics are tonight. Well, Jim, we've got the whistleblower impeachment for our first topic, and then we've got the Newsom recall, and then we've got uh, number three is going to be the open border judge, Kajani Brown Jackson. Well, obviously, if we're talking about open borders, we're talking about something exciting for our third topic. But let's go back to the whistleblower. Now, are we talking about whistleblower number one, number two, or are we talking about shifty shift? We're talking about door number three. If you look under door number three, there's something called the Organizational Crime and Corruption Project. Boy, that sounds like an exciting name. What do they do? Well, it's the OCCRP, and it's kind of funny because it's kind of ironic because the Organizational Crime and Corruption Project is also run by... George Soros. Whoa! Wait a minute. <laughs> George Soros? Right. Who, who's who, that guy? Who also runs a million, a trillion dollars worth of heroin <laughs> into the United States. So talk about organization crime. He knows about it. He knows and all so about it. Anyway, everything, the whole thing was scripted by this organization of crime and corruption problem, which is basically a, a, a Soros front group. Um, and then they had some people in the ICPA, which is the Intelligence Community Protection Act, and I forget who it was, but they, two, on August 29th, like a week before, they changed all the rules, so anybody who basically works for Soros is now a whistleblower. Okay, well, let, let, me, let me fill this in a little bit, because I've actually followed along with this storyline. <laughs> there was a phone call between President Trump and the Ukrainian new president, the new president of Ukraine. And during that phone call, there's always there's always at least six intelligence officers that are there transcribing the entire call. Well, one of those six tran those people that were on that were transcribing told another guy that I didn't like what was said. So that person became a whistleblower because guess what? He never heard one word from that call, didn't read the transcript, was told that something was said. But here's the trick part. Under that law change, it removed the requirement that you have to have first-hand knowledge to be a whistleblower. On all the bottom of the page, it said you have to have first-hand knowledge. And now it says... Oh, however you find out. Well, basically, they took a bottle of white out and fixed yeah, that. Yeah, white out. So they took some white out there, but what, what? But really, but if you look at the footnotes, those are the OCCRP. So it was the script was written by the OCCRP. So the guy really didn't hear anything. They they found some guy, and I think they gave him a tip, a couple million well, dollars. Well, that's funny. Said, you sign goes, this thing, go do this. Yeah, but the real issue is which law firm is handling the whistleblower. And funny enough, the law firm that's handling the, the that, first... That rose from the dead. Asset arose <laughs> from the dead. It turns out to be a law firm that supported Hillary Clinton, well, didn't Vince, defended didn't, Hillary no, didn't Clinton. Didn't Vince Foster once work for the Rose uh, Law Firm? But that was the, the original <laughs> Rose Law Firm. Okay, so he, Vince Foster was Hillary's lover back in those days. Uh, back right? in those days. But day. he got fired. <laughs> yeah, he got fired. He got fired twice. <laughs> he got fired twice. Once in the front, once in the back. Yeah, and what's funny about, about that, 45, that was, 45 yeah, minutes apart. The worst part is, that was supposed to be a suicide. <laughs> okay, so well, let's, uh, but it's the reincarnation of that same it's law firm. same problem. Okay, but I mean, that's the thing. That's why you got to ban guns, because, you know, you shoot yourself, in 45 hours, you shoot yourself again, sooner or later, you, you're going to kill yourself. Well, i got to tell you yeah. something. When you're committing suicide, <laughs> you better over. use one gun only <laughs> and do it right. You know <laughs> Over and over and over and over again. And over and over again. <laughs> How many times do you try to commit suicide with a gun? And then there's but, no blood. But here's there's what's no, funny about the no whistleblower. Okay. This whistleblower says, I can't be revealed. But you know what's really funny? Uh, the Judicial Committee out of, the, out of the Congress who's investigating this is run by, guess what, Adam Schiff. Right. Adam Schiff, by the way, Boys is Soros too. Oh, a Soros <laughs> guy, completely bought and paid for by George Soros. Yeah. And you know what's really funny about Adam? Yeah. He was the guy all through the Mueller probe that said, I have evidence that he will be impeached. Well, he said he had damning evidence. Damning evidence. Conclusionary evidence that no one else in the oh, world had. Oh, nobody else had. And then when the day came, it was like, well, I must have lost that. I must have lost that evidence. Do the, dog hate, the dog hate is over. <laughs> but here's what's funny. He's back again. He's back Just again. when you thought he was gone, he's back. Okay, so what, what Trump did, he extorted the president of Ukraine, <gasps> and he says, if you don't investigate Biden's son, 
I'm basically not going to do anything. <laughs> so, um, but Burisma is interesting because that's another Soros co co corporation. And what Burisma oh, is... Oh, by the way, that's a natural gas natural corporation gas. in Ukraine. In Ukraine. And oh, what are, but funny enough, but the Obamas gotta, had a lot to do with that. But you got to understand, there's all there's a trillion dollars for the heroin coming out of Afghanistan. It goes through Ukraine, then it goes to Mexico. So really, Burisma is nothing but a money laundering operation for the for the heroin. But do they have any natural gas? <laughs> well, they have a little bit. They must have much. something. They've but got, wait a minute. Well, why? Got, okay, got, I think they have, they have a picture of some natural they gas. Have a they got a lot of heroin. <laughs> but wait a minute. I have a question. Why would Burisma be such? Why would Donald Trump, the president, be asking about Burisma? Why would he even ask that question? Well, that's because Burisma is connected with CrowdStrike. And so there was, a guy, there was a guy that worked for Hillary Clinton campaign, and his name was Seth Rich. Yes, I do remember that okay. name. We all should. And then when, uh, what it was, Debbie Weisserman and Donna Brazile rigged the primary, so then Hillary won the primary when Bernie should have won it, right? Of course Bernie should have won. And but they had the superdelegate. And so, yeah, they, well, they had more than that. They had some other <laughs> things going on. But anyway, so what it's but what the point is, so Seth Rich went to work for Hillary after he worked for Bernie, and then Seth Rich was a younger guy, and so he's goofing around with the, the computers. Um, the head of the DNC uh, starts with a P. What's his name? Podesta. Podesta. Podesta had a password on his computer, password. So that took like three seconds for this young kid who's used to computers to figure out. He went in there and he saw. Wait a minute, they stole this from Bernie, who's my guy. So he took a thumb drive, he downloaded all the emails, he went to a park, he gave it to WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks published it and all this happened, and then two days later, Seth Rich fell down and shot himself in the back of the head. No, no, actually what's funny about Seth Rich, he was killed, allegedly in a robbery, no, he but you know what's funny, but his wallet, his watch, yeah. uh, by the way, a thousand dollar watch, a, a wallet full of credit cards and money, and everything else, and it was an alleyway in Georgetown. So where, oh, oh, it's so crime -ridden. Yeah, that, you're It's crime oh, 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 oh. Oh. So anyway, yeah, that's a wild territory. The that's Georgia. wild territory. Yeah, you know, like, it's just like, oh, well, can I have my muffin with jump? <laughs> so anyway, the point of the matter is, so the FBI comes, and the DN says, we've been hacked by the Russians, which is ridiculous, because you couldn't wire transfer that information quickly enough. But anyway, so that Wait was... Wait a minute, let's go back to Burisma. No, no, I'm, no, I'm circling around, ah. okay? So then the FBI goes, well, let's look at the server. And the DNC said, you can't look at the server. We're going to have CrowdStrike look at the CrowdStrike. server. CrowdStrike! Wait a minute, there's that name again. The CrowdStrike is another oh, Soros front group, right? So CrowdStrike looks at it and goes, it was the Russians and it was Trump. And so CrowdStrike is hooked up with Burisma. So the reason that Giuliano wanted to talk to CrowdStrike because they're the ones that took care, that framed Donald Trump. And Burisma is another front corporation okay, for a lot well, of money. Wait a minute, let's go back to the phone call. Because okay, the phone, phone call. call was actually about, about Donald Trump talking to the new president of the Ukraine, right. indicating that, in fact, he was interested in investigating all some of these old crimes that were going on, right. allegedly, with uh, Vice President Biden. But what's funny is, the transcript wasn't even released. Nobody knew, allegedly knew it was in the transcript. But Pelosi did. But Pelosi, funny enough, and so she did slipped, Schiff. She slipped and, up. And she, she slipped, up. and so did Schiff. But what's <laughs> funny about this is, they said, quid pro quo. Right. We will give you $400 million of arms, but you mm -hmm. must give us all the dirt on, on Biden. Biden. Right, right. And now, would they turn it into another political 2020 argument? And guess what? And the poor intelligent officer in the room that didn't like it told his little buddy that well, then, never heard anything. No, but then Adam Schiff said, I've never talked to this guy before. And then it turns out that he had. They, oh, they, funny they, enough. They framed the whole thing. Funny enough. They, they, they cooked up the whole thing. But anyway, so anyway, Joe's, Joe Biden's is somewhere between three and seven million. I think I, we can establish. You mean Hunter Biden? I mean, Hunter got like three million from Burisma. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that's kind of embarrassing. Because if you look at the Clintons taking a billion here and a billion here and a billion here, I mean, what's three million? Three million. That's between like, friends. That's, that's like pocket change. That, that's no, coffee that, on Sunday. That is embarrassing. Yeah, right? it is embarrassing. But, but Hunter, not enough. But Hunter did redeem himself because then he took a 1.5 billion dollar bribe from China in exchange for the 1.5 billion dollars that Hunter got from China. Um, and what they did is they they put the money in a. I think it was a Hong Kong yeah. bank that, that can leave the country. They right. never do that. And this is the Chinese government. This, this is just the Chinese government, the red Chinese. And in exchange for that, his dad 
gave them uh, the South China Sea. Well, that's just is amazing. <laughs> you know, I didn't know the South China Sea was only worth a billion. 1.5. Well, 1.5 billion. But, but it was well, cash. But, but it's how cash. many fish are in there? No, but I mean, it's cash. Oh, cash. It's not like a time payment. Oh, yeah, cash. And if you look at what what Hillary only got 140 million for the, uh, the Crimea. Oh, so. for, no, 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 for the, uh, for the, the Crimea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So 140 but, million. So the, million, the Crimea versus the Hillary got 100, 140 million. Okay, but wait a minute. What does that have point? with the whistleblower? What does that all have to do with the whistleblower? Well, what they're saying is that the reason that Trump called the president because he wanted the Ukrainians to frame Joe Biden. Oh, I guess I guess President Trump said that on the phone call, right? And that, well, you if you listen to Adam Schiff, he explained <laughs> that. that. I'm going to say it only seven times. I'm going to say it only seven times. I'm going to say it only seven times. And so Adam Schiff told the truth in his own little world. Yeah. And then and then what happens is that. Um, the, but the problem is, and then, and then Joe Biden says this is all nonsense, none of the truth. Unfortunately, this videotape surfaces where he's in front of. Like, okay, well let's no, hang no, on. We've no, got to hang on to the videotape. Why don't we go to our second well, segment? Where he's bragging. You're, you're about ready to lead into a whole lot. We'll where, save where, that for where, next where show. He's, where he's bragging about getting the prosecutor fired. I fire. don't want to talk about Joe Biden okay. bragging. Okay. Anyway, so the next one is the Newsom recall. Oh, which way are you talking about Gavin Newsom? Gavin Newsom, I think, oh. is the son-in-law of or the nephew of oh, no, 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 no. What he he married into the uh, into there's so many families. He was actually his parents were best friends with the Gettys, and when when the father and the mother got a divorce, the Gettys effectively adopted him. Right. And funny enough, oh, the Gettys again. Uh, by the way, they're all over California politics. Right. Uh, but uh, what happened is he's been he's had the charmed life. You know, he's actually marched his way, and they're grooming him for president. Yeah, sure. But, but you, first thing you got to do is you got to control California. And you know why? It's got the largest income. And so you want to control the money. So what is he doing? What's he doing with the money in California there, well, Mark? Well, first of all, okay, so we got a crime wave in the streets. I mean, you can't walk down the street without getting murdered or raped. Uh, kickbacks in the, and not in the trillions, but in the multi-hundreds of billions. Billions. From hundreds of billions, because you have the cartel bringing up, and it's just, they don't even stop the cartel. They just wave them through. No, they wave them through. They come right up Highway 5. They take a left at Sacramento, and it's just methamphetamine paradise. Well, it's meth, and, it's coke, and, it's and heroin. And fent fentanyl. Hey, and what's so, a ton of coke and, and, between and friends? They, and they give away, like, free needles. Some yeah, free needles. And you know what the deal is? Mm -hmm. yeah. you got to give free needles <laughs> and free money oh, free so money. you can use the cartel drugs. Okay, and so then the kickbacks. So the kickbacks are huge. The mayor of San Francisco takes huge kickbacks from the drug cartel. Newsom's getting huge kickbacks from the drug cartel. They got to keep that uh, that the border open. The drug highway. They got to keep the drug highway open. And not only that, they've got five or ten million people voting Democrat who are illegal. Yeah, so. illegal. And but so, wait a minute, isn't that when they bust them around by the thousands? By the every thousands. Every no, motor voters. They motor, call motor voters. voters. Motor <laughs> voters. <laughs> Literally motor voters. Okay, so kickbacks, boulders. Stumble bums. What I'm saying, boulders. Like the citizens in, in <laughs> San Francisco are so afraid of their young children being raped and murdered, walking outside their door because there's encampments of murderers and rapists that they've stuck. Biles. They stuck boulders on the sidewalks. I saw that. Okay, it was pretty and, exciting. And then the homeless. Uh, well, the vagrants and indigents, whatever they you want to call them, they move the boulders into the street. Oh my God! And then public works the said, boulders and then in the, the public works said, we have to go on the side of the vagrants. Oh! So you guys, and of course you can't have a gun. So you, your kids you can't walk, have a gun. You're, you walk outside. You can't have a boulder. And if you look at these quote unquote vagrants and whatever you call them, degenerates around the street. In general, they all have deadly weapons. They've got baseball bats. They've got machetes. Well, don't you have some experience jacket, with baseball jacket, 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 yeah, bats? <laughs> Batter up! Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I'm not going to go with that story tonight, but there no. is a story because so, Mark lives in San Francisco. <laughs> okay, so anyways, batter up. And all these, all these quote unquote poor little vagrants, they have teardrops under their eyes, which means they've done a couple mortars, they've done time. Most of them are, are little Vegas that can't go back to El Salvador. They can't go back to Mexico because they be have because they have a death sentence waiting for them. <laughs> so the reason they're here is because they can't go back to their country because they've been convicted of murder multiple times. Yeah. So they're out on the street, running the street. But the what citizens, does that have to do with Gavin Newsom and his open borders? <laughs> okay. And so so we got con incurable as epidemics. We got stumble bums, boulders, an epidemic of incurable infectious contagious diseases, flesh eating bacteria. Bacteria, right? We got flesh-eating disease. We got cholera. We got the plague that no one's seen. Measles, 
Diseases we haven't seen since. You got since tuberculosis. Tuberculosis you haven't seen since 1500s. And strains of it that there's no. You know no, the Black Plague is coming back? Yeah, Black Plague. I understand the Black Plague's back. But LA. Back for an encore. Okay, and anyway, there's no drug for this because it's all mutated. Okay, so you've got freed felons, potholes, traffic jams, oh water soldiers. Oh, my God. Skywrecking gas taxes and regulations, capital flight, clothes business, voter fraud. What could go wrong? Okay, so. Well, what, that's California. That's California. <laughs> and so what happened? They raised the gas tax. Oh. To, and then what did they do? They Because the roads are all broken. The roads oh, are all broken. Oh, the roads are all oh, broken. Oh, your record. And so we're raising the gas tax. Guess what he did the other day, Gavin? I have no idea. He took the gas tax money and put it into the Green New Deal. Oh, the Green New Deal. Okay, and then everyone who worked for the government in the last 50 or oh. 100 years gets a PERS, right? Oh, that's SEIU. Okay, well, PERS, there it is. PERS is now being leveraged for the Green New Deal. So if you have a retirement program, forget it. That's gone. So he took the gas tax, he took the PERS, but he's taking the heroin money. Oh, he's got to take the heroin money. Okay, so and by the way, the, the cartels pay good money. Okay, and so here's the point. There is a petition right now. So if you don't want them to take your parents, you don't want your children to be raped and murdered by heroin dealers and mass murderers, and you want to be able to walk out your door without being murdered, when the police can't do anything, but you they can't will do not show up. They won't show up because that would be all discrimination against all the murderers. All discrimination against the homeless. And so, like, if you don't want that on your street, because it's in San Francisco now, and I, I know what it's I'm talking about. It's coming here. And it's getting here soon. It's coming to a, a street near <laughs> you right street, now. Street. In fact, San Jose is, you know what, they've been cleaning it out. And what's funny about San Jose is they used to have all in the Guadalupe River until they wanted to make the Guadalupe Walkway clean. Right. So they cleaned them all of that. And now they're on Monterey Highway. And if you go down south of San Jose, down to Monterey Highway, you're not only on Route 66 to the homeless ghetto, but you're in encampment city. Well, I don't think we should call them. We should, we should just call oh, they're not a ghetto. We should just call them Newsom's troops. They these are, are Newsom's troops. These are Newsom's but, troops. But I have a question. Are they <laughs> Newsom's army of junkies? They're Newsom's army of junkies. But the point of the matter is you can't walk down the street in San Francisco without stepping on a, a needle. Hybrid, uh, which, or feces. You, which you could get or, or on human feces. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, there's a recall. People a recall? Can, you can sign the uh, petition. You can't get ne Newsom out because he's, he's too entrenched. But there's a there's a petition going around. There's two of them actually. Oh. So if you want to sign the petition, you've got it's up to you've got till February. We've to already sign. had one recall that worked. Well, Gray Davis. Gray Davis. When he was playing the energy markets and lost billions of billions, billions of, of dollars, dollars, like an idiot. Well, um, that's because he knew what, he was better than us. <laughs> he was an idiot. <laughs> okay, so basically now what we have is the Green New Deal, and I think nothing better exemplifies the Green New Deal is PG&E and says we're turning off electricity. Oh, that's Every, right. Everyone go back to everyone nature. Everyone forgot about PG&E so turning off the electricity. So we're going to take your de gas taxes. We'll triple the price of, tax, of oh. gas. We're not going to build any dams. We're not going to build any roads. No. We're not going to repair any roads. No. You don't have police protection. No. Right? Someone can rob you, murder no. you. You can't fight back because no. that would be mean okay that would be mean and in exchange for that you got the green new deal which is like no food no water no safety and no electricity and no gas well i have a question what it's are a we wonderful to do is a life you just well you go to san francisco is it a wonderful life <laughs> but look at these people on the street that's what you're going to end up on you're going to end up under a tarp going to the bathroom on the street and well, you get free needle. You get and free, they're all free and clean. And then you get free drugs. Uh, but by the funny part <laughs> is when the, those free checks come out every month, the drug dealers just go down the street. Okay, it's time for this. It's time for that. But before we go on any further on free needles and free drugs, what's our third for okay, subject so for the night? Okay, so this is federal judge Kajani Brown Jackson. And who is that? And she uh, is an open border judge. Open border. And she blocked the More. DHS process for expedited removal of illegal aliens. Aliens caught up yeah, near the border. So it used to be, if you were caught at the border, they'd just say, well, go on back. Now, if you're caught at the border, you get like three to six thousand dollars a month. You get free needles, free drugs. <laughs> free drugs. You get to murder people. They'll never ask for your yeah, ID. They never ask for an you ID. You can steal up to a thousand dollars a time. At you any store you want to go to. But that's just a one visit. You can you can hit one store for a thousand, another store for a thousand, and one day you can make twenty and or thirty thousand dollars. And guess what? You can't get prosecuted. Oh no, because there's not grand theft. There's no, no such no, thing as no, grand no, theft. No, then you get a ticket. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're not from here. You're, you're not from here anyway. You, you no buy, name you're you, using. You buy an ID for fifty. 
big box. <laughs> doesn't make it. So you can rape, murder, do whatever you want. And so there's only like a billion people that are well, taking Wait a minute. Does this judge live in a neighborhood where that happens or not? <laughs> oh, well, so I'm sure she lives up in the upper district. So, oh, wow. Okay, so anyway. She doesn't thing, live in Hunters Point. And so what the, live in what the, the, the ACLU, which is another Soros oh, front group. Wait a minute. The ACLU is such a wonderful Yeah, it's another Soros it's front group. It's another wonderful It's another Soros front group. So they're in Soros again. Oh, I mean, so we're circling back to George. Soros funds ACLU. Uh, and yeah, ACLU yeah, yeah. wants to make sure the drug freeway is open. Well. And so they say, argue that immigration courts and holding facilities are not overburdened. They're overburdened. No, they're saying they're not. Oh, they're not. And they, she ruled that immigration courts and the border and the holding facilities are not overburdened. Well, you know, they're calling it not a crisis. <sighs> It's a, Remember, it's, it's, a party. Party. It's, it's a party. It's a party. It's a heroin party yeah, for the you Democrats. Know, you know what I was about all this? The people in Hollywood Hills are going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no problem. <laughs> so anyway, the LC ACLU is going down to Mexico, and Soros is bringing Why is people the ACLU up. ACLU going to Mexico, and they're teaching people how to perjure themselves uh, to get across the border. Yes. They're setting up fake families which are kidnapped children, and they're going, oh, this is my kid. So the kid's got to go in. Once the kid, you go in with the kid, then you can go deal drugs and murder as much yeah, as you want. Yeah, but I think what you need to do is have DNA tests for these families, because they can identify... That's invasive! Invasive! That's invasive! It's invasive! So the ACL teaches people how to perjure themselves. To get how, to how to lie? How to perjure themselves. How to lie? How to perjure themselves. How to lie? How to perjure themselves. Oh, how, really? You, and, mean, uh, you mean and, how to lie? And how to kidnap children. Oh. And every one of those children is raped many times, and then they take them across the board and they reuse them well, until they rape them to you death. You know, that's terrible, that's because, how it works. but they're making sure they're getting full use out of them. <laughs> they get full use out of them. And not only that, then they sign them up and get them to vote. Well, you know, so the they, they, they handling well, that's because they're motor voters. They're motor voters. And it doesn't matter how old you are. You can drive in from Tijuana, <laughs> vote. Whoa, time to vote. Uh, as long as you vote Democrat. Democrat. And, then, and then you've actually got a bunch of Democratic candidates going to Mexico to campaign. In fact, that's interesting. I'm in Mexico City, and i got the largest crowds ever. Welcome aboard. <laughs> so we, it's like Trump has Trump rallies in the United States. Democrats have, like, Democratic yeah, rallies, rallies in Mexico. Cabo San Lucas, oh, Mazatlan, Puerto Vallarta. So it's the Open. I had 10,000 in Puerto Vallarta. It's the open drug freeway. It's new. It's Kajaya Brown. It's Soros. It's a bunch of heroin dealers, and they're running the state of California. Well, wait a minute. I have a question. Isn't this the tech state? Well, they have high tech heroin. <laughs> they have fentanyl. They have fentanyl. No, it's high tech. Yeah, but I understand. This is here's not the, your old fashioned. It's not like the old fashioned days. heroin. It's not like that this little gooey black yeah. chocolate crap. This is the good stuff. Well, you know, I think uh, I forget what it is, but I think a, ke a kilo of heroin is worth like twenty, thirty thousand dollars. But a backpack of fentanyl is worth sixty million dollars. Well, you know what? A backpack of fentanyl million. can kill everybody in the United States. But that's sixty. One million. grain can kill somebody. Sixty million dollars one backpack. Well, you know this what? Is big business. So what? So everybody that climbs the border with a backpack, hey, they let's don't climb the border. They let them by. They're waving them through. <laughs> waving them through. They're waving them through. <laughs> and then Newsom's Gavin's out there. Come on by. Bring it. <laughs> come, come on, on by. <laughs> you guys stop by Sacramento first. <laughs> Just give me a piece of the action. So that's how it works. But um, wait a minute. Is that why they're impeaching him because of drugs, or is it because they're impeaching him because of the environmental catastrophe of the base filling up with syringes? No. The reason that he's there's a uh, the the petition call is mainly people like if you look at San Francisco in the last few weeks, about 15, 20 restaurants have just given up. Well, they can't afford you, it. You can't have a business where people come to your street and there's dead bodies and heroin and people raping. Nobody wants to come to the storefronts in San Francisco. The businesses are paying a lot of rent. Yeah. They're just throwing in the towel and saying, I'm walking. I can't do it. I can't do it yeah. anymore. Sacramento's the same thing. Yeah. I and know. LA's the same thing. You try to run a business in San Francisco, it's now what what most places in San Francisco are doing, and I would do it, I'm doing it by I, the landlord's going to hire off duty cops. So basically, if I'm going to take, like, you know, a secretary to her Uber, I want an armed guard. Not an armed guard. It's got to be official police. Ah. They'll kill an armed guard. They know that an armed guard doesn't count because, you know, they can't do anything. Yeah, but I thought we had all these laws. The laws, forget them. There's, the law. there's only one law. It's the, the law. law. It's the law of Newsom. But what about the law of the jungle? <laughs> it's the law of the jungle. It's the, ju it's the law of the heroin peddlers. Well, I have That's a question. But is that why they're impe they want to impeach Newsom? I think what the thing, The recall. The recall is based, I think, on a lot of people shutting down their businesses. Because you've got no enterprise. Well, you can't. No customers want to come there. They're scared to death to get out of their cars. Well, would you? 
Uh, I think you want to have an armed guard. But your office is in the city. Well, that's what I'm Do saying. Do you feel like you need to uh, concealed carry? I would tell you that when I walk, someone who works for me, I, we sometimes we have two guys walk a girl to the Uber. I wouldn't let her walk from here to 20 feet away without an escort of two guys. Well, no terrible. girl, no girl in her right mind would walk on the sidewalk. And in San I Francisco. guarantee you, this no is the woman middle would of the leave day. a bar at two this, in the morning. No, this is the middle of the day. Oh, geez. this is 12 noon. It's not safe to walk on the street of San Francisco. Now. That's sad. 12 noon. So what happens? What happens is that everybody's going out of business. Well, what's the city going to turn into? It's a heroin fiesta. <laughs> it's a heroin fiesta. Wait a minute. Is downtown turning into a ghost town? It's turning into a heroin fiesta. Yeah, well, it's like one restaurant or another that have been there 20, 30, 40 years. Everyone's quitting. They They're can't all, do with it. You, well, you can't. The customers are afraid to go near Wouldn't downtown. You, what, and you know what else is going on? It's all the break-ins. Oh. All the break and you park a car, goodbye. 30 seconds later. Yeah, you got your car's broken not all, in. Not only your car broken into, you come back, you have 10 people living in it, and they won't leave. They're living in your car. They, they, they but they you are. know you can't evict them because no, you're you in San Francisco. Them. No, you can't, can't evict them. You can't evict anyone in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just saying. Even in your car. So I think it's business owners are the ones who are kind of behind the recall. Because they're kind of like... But it's not just San Francisco. It's Los Angeles as well. Yeah, well, I, 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 I just... And yeah. what about San Diego? Sa Sacramento's the same problem. Sacramento, San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco. So when you got the four major basically, well, basically what it is, Newsom is like the teenager that you leave home for the weekend. and you and It's the, a party. And the, and the babysitter goes over to her boyfriend's house. And your 12-year-old has the house for four days. Yeah, and you wow. Come, and you come home, and that's what, Cal destroyed. That's what California and you know what is. And is like, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, uh, I didn't do <laughs> credit card. Yeah. So that's a new song. Call he, Uncle George. He's a, tw a 12-year-old that wrecked the house. Yeah, I, the I don't understand any of this, because you would think the benefit of the California and its population had nothing to do with open borders, free drugs, no police. You would think all of that would kind of the, change the so dynamics. There's so much money in the heroin that the Silicon Valley means nothing, uh, the freeways need nothing, the business... Newsom makes so much money smuggling and peddling heroin, he doesn't need any other business. Well, I got a question. Has he ever been caught? There's nothing illegal about the Newsom. They're, they're above the law. There's no <laughs> law. The FBI, the CIA is not going to touch Newsom. Pelosi? Come on. Soros? They own the FBI. They own the CIA. They own the Department of Justice. No one's going to catch them because... They all work for Soros because <laughs> they're paid off. Well, boy, this is one <laughs> scary story tonight, Mark. I have to tell you, I'm not too happy about listening to this. But is that why they want to recall Newsom? That's why they want to recall Newsom. Just all of that? I would say, well, I, I gave you the list. It's well, wait the, a minute. What else? It's the kickbacks, the boulders, the stumble bombs, the epidemic of incurable infectious contagious disease, free felons, potholes, traffic jams, water shortages, skyrocketing gas taxes, regulations, capital flight, closed businesses, voter fraud. What could go wrong? Well, what could go wrong what with could California go wrong? with yes. that list? It's nothing but excitement. It's, every day is a new challenge in California. Every day is fun. Well, I got to tell you, good. Mark, that's a scary story. That's the way it goes. Is that the way it's going to go? Well, there's big money. Money talks. Money talks, money. and the rest of us walk. The rest of us walk. You know, I hate, I hate that. I hate that.